Hi there, welcome back to a new video. Um, I'm working in my massive Disney journal today. Um, I have been inspired by an idea to create little doily pockets. So that's what I'm going to be doing with you today. I picked out some photos that I've been wanting to use and I've decided to go with this little center page on this signature. Um, it's got a few bits and pieces as you can see, so I'll talk about those. And I've also decided to use some paper. I bought some fresh eucalyptus. Um, oh, I might even use some fresh eucalyptus. That could be quite nice. It came wrapped in this. I bought this on Saturday. Um, look at the washi tape there. Isn't that cute? So I've decided as well, we're also going to create some of our own really pretty washi paper type tape as well. So we're going to be doing two techniques, a doily, pocket, and some cute washi tape as well. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So the first thing I'm going to do is get these photos on here. I don't have masses of journaling. It's a, an afternoon story that I was going to want to tell. There's some journaling um, about a few things. When I do a page with you, I kind of like to start the whole process from the very start. So which is why I've told you what inspires me but also I've made the mistake before where I've left loads of space for journaling and then it comes to it and I think actually I haven't got that much to tell so I do quite like to get my story straight before I start the journaling so looking at this um, I want to tell the story how we um, did a couple of surprise character meets and also how we had a really bad quick serve meal. Um, I do have a photo of Daisy as well that I kind of wanted to include. So if my original thought was, because I love a flip, right, we'll flip that. But then I've got journaling, potential journaling there. I've got a space there. I've got a space here. I've got a ready-made pocket here and a flip here. There's only so much journaling I need for this page. So actually, we're not going to turn this into a flip. Um, I am going to go ahead and stick that on here. Originally, I thought about using this for something else. But actually, um, I'm going to pop it on here. I quite like that idea. Let's just use this. Um, I've put some scrap paper away today. Here we go. Look, I've already cut into that by mistake. So... I think I'll stick that on here and then stick that onto there and I think that will work really well. So I'm gonna put this onto here, but sometimes, um, although I am one of those that I don't overthink my pages, um, I have also learned from experience that a certain amount of planning sometimes really helps as well and does actually save time in the long run. So let's just cut that there. So it just like, kind of like gives you an idea of what you're going to be doing. Let's that. We'll make that easier. What do you use to trim your papers, your photos and all that? I love this little one. It's so handy. I bought it in um, at a home scrapbooking class. Oh, what's it called? Creative Memories, wasn't it? When... Um, Home classes were, or not home classes, but home sort of shopping was all the rage. Do you remember those days? What were, I think, I always think back and I think Avon were the originals. No? What do you think? Do you think Avon's were, Avon was what? No, Tupperware, that's what I mean. I think Tupperware were the original home sales. Avon is obviously a long-term one. Um, I did Osborne Books when the kids were younger. Um, I definitely sold or rather bought more than I actually sold. Then I used to love Virgin B. I used to have Virgin B parties. I used to buy my makeup from there. Um, the kitchen ones. What were the kitchen ones called? My mind's gone blank. Um, Pampered Chef. That was it, wasn't it? I have so much Pampered Chef still. I love that stuff. I really did. Right, we're going to pop that on there. I love that serrated edge. Um, yeah, let's place that on there. And summer was and summers was all the rage. I remember the would that have been like the mid nineties? I think I remember like I never had one, but being invited to like friends and it always just being the shock factor of that, wasn't it? You'd be there with your friend's mum all 
testing a vibrator on your nose. Do you remember those? Anyone else went to those? And it will be a bit embarrassing and a bit... Yeah, they were all the rage then. Um, right, I've got a little photo here. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing that one yet. With that one yet, but I'm going to back it onto here. What other parties were there that were popular? I'm just trying to think. I started doing my own parties, actually. That was how I launched my first ever business selling greetings cards. I used to make my own cards, personalised gift bags, photo albums, and I started going around friends. That was sort of in the days of when we were at toddler groups and all that. I guess because I'd done them with Osborne Books, so then I started my own business doing my own and I would take personalised orders and that's exactly how I started my first ever business actually. Uh, but yeah, let me know what parties you used to go to, the ones you enjoyed the most. I think it was definitely the food ones for me. <laughs> right, we really got sidetracked then, didn't we? Right, I kind of feel like I would quite like it on that as well. It's almost like going back to old school scrapbooking, isn't it? Matting your photos. But, um, sometimes I think when you've got a busier background, it really, really helps. Let's go with that serrated edge again. I really like that. But um, when I first started scrapbooking, that's basically all I did, to be honest, was map my photos onto a different colour cardstock, stick it on a page and write on it. Right, there we go. Now, I'm going to move on next to the um, thing that inspired this page, and that's the little doily pocket. Let's take one doily. This is going to be so, so easy. We are basically going to fold the insides over the two sides. You kind of want to get them as equal as possible. And then fold the middle up. And there you have it. A cute little pocket. So you can stick that in and then that can go up there. And then you could even have a photo to pull out. That's quite sweet, actually, with Dale up there. Ooh, I might do that. Do we lower the pocket slightly? So, right, let's make this one a little bit smaller, actually. This is another one of those. You know when I say about doing them and... Um, using them for happy mail and things like that. This is another one that would work really, really well. Yeah, I like that. Look, it's kind of like framed the photo. That is so sweet. Right, we could, we obviously need to, excuse the digger outside beeping. Um, we could sew, we could staple, we could glue. What shall we do today? I'm thinking sewing. Oh, you know what I have got? Um, I tidied away earlier on. I had some wax, blue wax thread left over from something. This would work really, really well. Um, and I actually, I was making a new journal, I lost it, and then I was tidying up and found it. I'm going to go with a very chunky needle. Let's see if this, oh. Everything's falling over on the floor now. I can't actually see anymore. I need to put my glasses on. Cool, you don't appreciate your eyesight until you stop being able to see. It's so frustrating. Excellent. Right. I'm going to just very roughly sew this one. I thought the the thread would be quite cute. But like I said, you could use staples. Um, talking of staples, I am sending, or I have sent my top tier patrons the most cutest happy mail this month. I was so, so happy with it. I don't know why I didn't think about this before. I send out, if you're in the top tier, a little happy mail gift every month. And this month you've got something super, super cute. So it's one of my most favourite things to do in my journal. So I really hope 
you'll love it. I like to try and vary it each month just to keep it a little bit interesting. Oh. So I don't like to make it obvious what I've sent out just to keep it a surprise. I know the UK, most of the UK ones I think have now arrived. Obviously the overseas haven't. Look how sweet that looks. Let's just switch over to the back. So yeah, I won't say what it is because I don't want to ruin the surprise. But, um, I hope when they arrive that you really like them. I like choosing each month and I've already got next month's gift sorted as well and I'm so excited about that. And I like to bury it. I tend to do something handmade. So I made a little topper and I like to do a handwritten note or postcard. And next month's gift, May gift is something I am making myself. So yeah, I like to bury it. Sometimes I've done washi tape. We've had stencils, stickers, stamps. Um, yeah, I like to bury it, it's fun. Right. Actually, let's keep this going. And we'll sew along the bottom as well. I think that will look nice. Let's see if I can sew this in a straight line. Actually, to make it easier, we can actually pre-do our stitches, pre-pierce them. And that way we can do it in a straight line. We've got space for one more. There. And this wax thread is actually quite nice for this because it's nice and solid. That looks really sweet, doesn't it? But obviously you could use any thread. And um, something quite fun to do. I'm just going to secure mine with a bit of tape to hold it in place. Actually, I don't want the tape on the back because it goes all the way across. I'm going to cut that. And actually, I'm going to secure that with tape just to keep it a little bit tidier. Then you don't see the thread across. And, oh, have I made this large enough? I didn't actually plan that too well. I think I might just get away with it. Oh, I was forgetting because of the stitching. Oh, it's caught up on the doily. Yeah, we've done it. That's absolutely fine. And we're going to pop that on there. I like that. Let's just add some glue stick. That's a very quick and easy way to make a cute pocket, don't you think? Oh, I love that. I think I might actually need some double-sided sticky tape on the back, actually. Let's play that safe so that it stays in place. Um, I might make a few of those. I think that's quite sweet to do and obviously the larger the doily the bigger the pocket you can get different shapes different colors you could stamp them paint them there and then I can journal on the back as well or you could add extra journaling to pull out I think that is so cute I might even add some little stickers on there so I was Printing off some more photos, and whilst doing that, I've had a couple of more ideas. And that's always one of my top tips as well. If ever you're struggling with ideas, take a break. I wasn't actually struggling for ideas this time, but I was taking a little break, and it's given me even more ideas, so that's really cool. I'm happy with that. Um, so I'm going to trim down these photos. Add the white background just to help them pop and then I'm going to share my other ideas with you. So here are my ideas. I have got another one of these little doily pockets. This time however we're not going to do all the fancy sewing because some of this is going to be covered up. We're going to add some double-sided sticky tape. Let's zoom this up so you can just see a bit better. And we are going to close this up and this is actually going to home some hidden journaling this time. 
Um, let's close that up there. That's going to sit like that. This was an old, I did this as a Patreon video actually, making little um, envelope pockets, which was really fun. Right, I am going to pop my little doily pocket underneath my photo this time. So most of it is going to be covered up. I just want to make sure, because the photo is quite a decent size, I don't want the pocket completely covered. So, there, then if the photo goes there, and the idea is the envelope closes, but you can still see the pocket on the side. And then we can slip our journaling. We're going to make a little journaling card to go inside. I think that will look really, really cute. Um, I like, as you know, having a bit of a theme to follow. I have to use the end of that tape. Let's grab some more tape. So, yeah, I like the idea of having, like, the doily and we're going to add a bit more doily as well and then we've got the craft as well so everything kind of flows on the page let's pop that down there and then this will close and then we can still see that there that will go really cute um we are now going to add a little pulley out bit i found this i was looking for some background paper which i loved it's got little grey dots and then I was looking at this and thinking actually that would look nice that would look nice that would look nice that would make a great journaling card and before I knew it um, this whole piece actually suits this page so well and I didn't even realize this is quite an old piece now I don't even know from what collection I like the XOXO XO I think I might pop that down there or do I pop? No, we'll slide that underneath. And I think we will add some little page accents using these. I like that. Um, I really love the Love You the Most. That is so cute. Um, let's have a little look to see. I don't even know where we're going to add it. add it up there and have it on the side because obviously even though it's wording don't have to have it like that oh that's quite nice we could pop that like that that actually looks really nice as well and then you open that up I might go for that one actually the other thing I wanted to do continuing with the doily theme I've got a little mini doily and I was thinking about popping that up there I feel I need to continue with the craft paper um we were going to do some craft washi weren't we oh let's do that actually i liked the idea of that so much and i even picked out a really cool stamp for this it is cakes and donuts as you can see i've used it with pink there you go you can see that so let's add that isn't this cute this might need a bit of time to dry I should have done this before I got excited about it do you know as well I nearly dropped my stamp on my carpet my nice new carpet that wouldn't have been good would it right I'm gonna pop that to one side let that dry should I do another one as well actually while I'm here I might do it down this way because I may need more than one strip, but obviously it'd be quite handy to have as a spare something as well. I really like that, but yeah, just run some stamping along the edge. And then I'm going to tear that and that's going to be used like a washi strip. Um, right, the other thing I was wanting to do was tear some of this to put underneath. So I'm not sure how much of this I want. Oh, let's get that straight. Parcel paper is just so handy, isn't it? It can just be used for everything. Probably find that's not quite. Mm, yeah, that could work. 
Let's leave the stamping to dry. Let's bring this page back. I'm thinking, tear that down, pop that on there. And then we've got the little photos. I quite like that actually. I quite like that a lot. I'm loving that. Yeah, this is working out really, really cute actually. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's tear that down. I'm liking this. And then we need to find a way of adding our new stamped pieces without the page then suddenly becoming too much. I didn't want it to be too busy. And we need to add our journaling then as well. But I've obviously got this pocket here, so I had an idea for that already. This is so cute. I've added a nice amount of photos on here as well. Obviously, we've got the space for the journaling there. Pop that there. I've done this before as well where, oh, I've just realised I haven't even got the whole thing in, have I? I've done this before where I think, oh, I've got so much space for journaling. Let's just take out some of the, the journaling space. And then before I know it, I've added so many bits and pieces that I haven't actually got enough space for journaling. <laughs> quite funny right yes that looks good I am happy I like the love you that is so pretty I wonder if we can add this somewhere or are we suddenly going to be a bit busy cute I love this this was an old sassafras sticker by the way um, and this create your own sunshine I really liked that for this page as oh, I quite like that um because this afternoon just didn't go quite quite to plan as sometimes in Disney that happens doesn't it um or actually I'm having another idea um yeah the after, the day didn't go quite to plan it was quite busy busier than we would have liked I get I struggle a bit when it's too busy and um we ended up leaving the park and then we went on to Disney Resorts and we just had the best afternoon. We yeah, just happened to see some characters in Bay Lake Resort and then we met those, we wandered, we've got our refillable mugs so we went and had drinks at different resorts and it was just so nice and it was just the perfect afternoon, completely unplanned and we loved it, it was just so nice just what we needed oh there's a date there that would be quite good I was just reading on my photos actually this was the third of March there, that's worked out quite nicely and I might then just add some washi tape along the bottom yeah quite like that and I was also going to cut this piece out use this as my journaling card and then I just need a little card to go in there as well and then I think I might be pretty much ready for my journaling that goes perfect in there excellent I would quite like to add something in that little space there I wonder if this will work. Yeah, that goes quite nicely actually. Let's tidy that up. Perfect. Yeah. What else I might do? I've got this tiny little bit here. Let's cut this in. to a little heart and I'm going to staple that on the top here that is so sweet I love that oh I love that so much look how cute that's come out I really like that oh and look then we've got that which would actually go really, really well. I love it when you make something that is completely 
not planned. It makes it um, even better, wouldn't you agree? This is turning out really, really cute. I am liking this. Right, let's see. One, I wanted to use, oh, that's still quite wet actually, um, the washi. Oops. I may not use that <laughs> stamp, it's very wet still. Um, that might be maybe something I use on another day. But um, I love that washi tape there. So I may well, actually, I like the idea of adding that there. That ties in really, really nicely. This is actually turning out really cute. I wanted to add something around here. Right, I have actually got on here the name, which was Epcot and Resorts. Third of March, and then to cover that little bit up there, I am going to pop some double sided sticky, and we're going to have some washi tape running through the um, wording there that's left over from the envelope. This tape here, which will be perfect. Excellent. That's ended up working so well. And then I might even add the same tape just to tie it all in. A little bit up there. This has just worked out really, really cute. I love all those little pops of red. Right, I need to just transform, transform that. That can be a little journaling card of doily too. I'm just going to rub some of the glue stick on there. Pop that on and, whoops, that didn't stick on very well, did it? We'll just do a little bit on the bottom just so it ties in. I'm going to cut that like that. And we've got a very and easy journaling card so we do also need a little pulley out bit there I think we could just use that there as our pulley out ribbon excellent Right, time to get some journaling done now. So, the page is now finished. Let's get a better angle and show you. So, I've done, my, done some journaling throughout the page. I've added journaling on the back of my little photo. I love that little pocket, it's so cute. And then I've also added journaling on the back there and over the page i could have added journaling there as well i've added journaling there on the little pulley out bit i'm so pleased with that that's worked out really well and all of this page has actually just been used by stash that i've either had for years or like the doily um that's been kicking around for ages or the wrap the brown paper wrap that i got on some flowers on saturday so i'm really really pleased with that that was a really fun page to make i hope that's inspired you go and make yourself some little cute pockets with doilies really really fun i've had so much fun today thank you very much and i look forward to seeing you in the next video take care bye